What's up everyone, Smy from My Gadget Swirl and I came across a very interesting video by this guy right here, man. This guy is literally a techno dad. All right, so as you can see right here, this is his test for the um, ultra high speed HDMI cable test and also the high speed HDMI cables test. The one came with the PlayStation 5 specifically and you can go and watch his video right here. It's the next gen console HDMI cables test and he did it and that's the proof guys how the PlayStation 5 cable is not reliable now guys you guys were yelling at my video I mean in the comment section I, I could feel that yell you know but it's fine I mean you guys love Sony I love both I love Sony I love uh, Microsoft I love Xbox and PlayStation PC whatsoever I don't have any enmity with anything out there when something is wrong is wrong you know you just can't be like so much loving to a product and be like no you can't say anything bad about that on my channel that's not gonna happen well Technodad has done his part right here where the cable has failed 30 percent I mean out of 10 three times it fully failed to pass 40 gigabits per second I mean I did the test on the TV it could barely do 32 gbps on my LG OLED TV information well I'm just not gonna rely on this test right I'm gonna do my own testing so I got the Marantz SR7015 right there and this one has a feature right here on the screen. Actually it tells you that um, you know what is the quality of the cable. How much of the data these cables like this one is the ultra high speed HDMI came from the Xbox Series X. So I'm gonna do the test on this one and then I'm gonna do the test on this one right here which says nothing on it but it's a uh, PlayStation 5 cable I mean it says nothing on it that means what it is I mean it says something on the cable itself it says high speed um, because it could not pass the test for the ultra high speed HDMI test so guys I mean this is a business like you guys are thinking about like uh, as a fan but think about the business if it does not satisfy the requirements for the ultra high speed HDMI cable I mean, they're not gonna put it on the cable. What do you think? Like this company wants to be sued, like Luxshare, um, ICT. Man, there are there are protocols in place. You know, whenever these cables are made. So this company right here, this is not made by PlayStation. I'm not blaming PlayStation at all. I mean, this is not made by Sony. It's made by this company, and you can Google this company. This company is right there, and there's a serial number for this cable, guys. So if you do some Google search, you will find out E32. 1011 is capable of doing what? Okay, it passes the HDMI 2.1 requirements, which is not the cable, guys. It's the connectors on the both, on the source and on the destination. So on your display and on your console, it has to be 2.1. Now, you could use literally a PlayStation 4 Pro cable and that will work, but that will work doesn't mean that that will work um, optimally or that will work the way it's supposed to be working. So I'm gonna be doing this test right here on this Marantz and show you what it shows on the screen and I'll do it maybe like 10 times and see what are my results and I'll share with you. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do in the same video. There's gonna be a cut because I have to go and plug these cables and do the testing. So guys, stay tuned and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right guys, so Xbox Series X cable is uh, connected to the back of this receiver. So I, let me show you where it is connected. So you guys know that, okay, at the back of the TV, there's gonna be a lot of mess, a lot of cables for nine speakers. Oh wow, I found my device right here. It's a Google TV, well, right here, I got the 8K output and one I have the 8K input. So this is Xbox Series X cable plugged in. So guys, uh, home theater looks so clean, you know, when you have it like this uh, from the front, but at the back, it's ugly, you know? So, <laughs> well, I need the cable management, but there are a lot of stuff connected. I got the Apple TV connected. There's the Shield Pro connected. There's this power amplifier. So there's a lot of equipment here, right? So there's gonna be a lot of wires. I got a TV behind a TV. Then I got the Xbox Series X right there, subwoofers. So this is a lot. Well, let's go back to the test. Okay, so cable is plugged in. Now, to check the cable on the Marantz SR7015 receiver, I have to hit back and the uh, up directional button. Alrighty, come on. 
Okay, so we hold those two buttons back and the up directional buttons and we get the HDMI diagnostics, right? So now we have to go to the cable test. Okay, so now we are into the cable test and we're going to hit enter. It says connect the cable, which we already connected. So we're going to hit enter and start the test. So guys, this test is for Xbox Series X cable. It's not for the PlayStation 5 right now. We connected the Xbox Series X and we're going to see what is our result. All right, guys, so it has passed the 8K 40 Gbps connection. So we're going to hit retry and do this test again. Okay, this is our count two and it has passed the 8K 40 Gbps. I'm going to hit another time. This is third. I'm trying to make it quick so it's not a, like a one hour long video. Okay, third time it passed the 8K test. Let's do four time. Okay, it has passed the four time as well. So let's go fifth time. It passes the test the fifth time also. Sixth time pass. Seven time pass. Eight time pass. Nine. And this is one last time. Pass. All right, guys. So it has passed the test total of 10 out of 10 of 8K 40 Gbps. Now I'm going to be trying this uh, PlayStation 5 cable that came with it and it's a high speed HDMI cable not ultra certified high speed cable all right so I'm gonna go and uh, take out the other cable from the back and plug this one in guys I just want to emphasize again that I don't have anything uh, with PlayStation actually I'm gonna be keeping the PlayStation 5 to play my games because I built recently a gaming PC so I'm not gonna be keeping Xbox Series X I'm keeping the PlayStation 5 so just saying that again, if you haven't hear, heard me out loud, I'm keeping the PlayStation 5. So I want to make sure if I'm keeping the PlayStation 5, I got to make sure that I'm using the right cable with it. Isn't it the case with you guys? All right. So I'm going to plug the 8K right here for the 8K port to check the uh, bandwidth test for the PlayStation 5 cable now. All right. Let's just go at the front and see. Uh, what do we get? Okay, so first of all, we have to get out of this test, which we were doing for uh, I'm gonna start again Exit Okay, now we are back now we're gonna go back into the HDMI diagnostics so back and the up button You have to hold it for a couple of seconds Okay, now we are in the um, HDMI diagnostics hardware check and we are checking the PlayStation 5 cable so we're gonna go into the oh I went too far cable test all right and we're gonna hit enter connect the cable it's already connected at the back let's do start this is the test one PlayStation 5 cable here we go So this is our first test for PlayStation 5 high-speed HDMI cable test with the Marantz SR7015. All right, guys. So you can see that it passed 9 Gbps, 4K 18 Gbps, but fail, fail, fail 8K. It just passed up to the 18 Gbps. This is our first test, first try. 
We're gonna do 10. All right, I'm gonna hit enter again. Second time, PlayStation 5 cable, here we go. All right guys, this is our second test. And in the second test, we see that it passed 8K 40 Gbps. So out of two, we got one pass, one fail. We're gonna go again. This is test three. Okay, on the test three, we also have the 8K 40 Gbps working perfectly fine. So out of three, we have one fail. We're gonna go back again and retry. Okay, so out of four, we have one fail and three successes and we have 40 Gbps successful. All right guys, so now we're gonna try it the fifth time and we're gonna hit enter. And it's testing the cable. Okay, on the fifth time we have 4K 9 Gbps pass, 4K 18 Gbps, okay. So we did not even get the uh, 4K uh, 18 Gbps test pass on this um, on the fifth time. So let's hit uh, retry again. Could be because of the inconsistencies and all. So now it passed the 40 Gbps test when we did it for the uh, six time. I'm trying to keep track of like how many times we did. So six time it did. First it did not do. Fifth it do did not do, and this is six. So guys, keep 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 the track of the count for me, please. I think this is now seven time for the PlayStation Five. Cable test pass. Eight K, forty Gbps on the seven time, guys. Now it's eighth, eighth time. And eighth time also, it passes the 8K 40 Gbps test. Okay, this is one more time we have to do, and this is going to be the last 10 time. Okay, guys, this is our 10 test for the PlayStation 5 cable. And okay, for the 10th time, we have the 4K 9 Gbps pass, 4K 18 Gbps uh, pass, and then we have fail um, the rest of it. So I think, it, no, it's 4K 9 Gbps pass and 4K 18 Gbps fail. So we didn't get the 8K pass. So this was our 10th. Let's do another just to be on the safe side. I'm going to hit test cable. All right, so 11 time it passes the test for the 8K 40 Gbps. So guys, we tried in the total of the 11 times and there were four inst three instances where we didn't get the 8K pass test on the uh, 4K, uh, 8K HDMI cable, or you wanna call it the high speed HDMI cable that came with the PlayStation 5. So guys, when we were doing it for the Xbox, Series X cable, there was not even a single instance where we didn't get the pass or fail. So now, the problem with this test is that our device, device at the back, I mean, where we are checking this HDMI test is 2.1 HDMI to 2.1 HDMI. So the funny fact about HDMI 2.1 is it's not the cable, it's the connector, the connection at the back, right, for the uh, ports. So if even if you connect any kind of cable, it will let it go. It will let it pass the data, but it's not gonna be optimal HDMI 2.1 cable. So you have to get ultra high speed HDMI cable in order to get that best performance out of it. And Xbox Series X, we didn't even have a single instance where it failed because it is proper ultra high speed HDMI test. So guys, I'm not really a big YouTuber. I'm not a big reviewer, but Technodad is. 
So if he's saying something about it, he's been testing home theaters like long enough now. I mean, I have been into this business for a little over like uh, three or four years maximum. And I haven't done it as much as Techno Dad has done it. That's why for the reason like he is the Techno Dad. So just go listen to him, guys. Don't listen to me. Maybe I'm biased, I'm taking uh, Xbox side even though I'm keeping the PlayStation 5 for me. But I'm ordering actually a Zeskit cable for myself which I already have it being delivered today. And I already have a couple of cables for the uh, NVIDIA RDX 3080, 3090. So guys imagine why didn't I say anything about the NVIDIA RDX 3080 when I was using a HDMI cable which was giving me 8K output all, uh, every time I was trying to. So this will give you also the performance that you're looking for, but not all the time. So just make sure you get the ultra high speed HDMI cable, a certified one. If you are paying like $500 for the console, I mean, 20, 15 to $16 for a HDMI cable to have peace of mind. I'll go with that, guys. I'm a consumer like you guys. I'm not a paid tester. I don't get paid by anyone. I mean, look at my subscribers count, barely like 10,000 uh, subscribers. So I don't even get paid for any of this that I'm doing. So guys, yeah, YouTube pays me. You guys will, I can argue that, but YouTube is like all my efforts, right? It's not that I'm getting paid by Sony to say something bad about Xbox. I don't get something from Xbox to say something bad about the PlayStation. So guys, just be open to conversation and just be respectful of the other comments. Please do not just start using the foul language.